For many Jamaicans, fishing is their only source of income and livelihood. Many also believe that fishing will never end or it is a renewable resource, but they are wrong. A major challenge is the destruction of coral reefs. Many fish species depend on corals for food and habitat. At the same time, corals depend on certain fish species for reproductive success. In a bid to preserve and sustain marine life in St. Anne, more than 2,700 pieces of coral have been planted at the White River Fish Sanctuary in the parish. This has reportedly resulted in restoring the reef and increasing the fish population. Marlon Samuels reports. Coral reefs provide a habitat for fish stock, protect our beaches and coastlines from hurricanes. Coral reefs are considered to be among the most threatened and fastest deteriorating marine ecosystems. A crucial management approach is to protect the coral reefs. However, the current rapid decline of the world's reefs indicates protection is not a good standalone option. In Jamaica, there is reportedly less than 20% of Jamaica's original coral reef remaining. The destruction of the coral reefs, overfishing, pollution, hurricanes, disease and global warming are all causing the depletion of fish numbers in Jamaica. A number of stakeholders are trying to build back Jamaica's fish stock including the White River Fish Sanctuary in St. Anne. The sanctuary forms a part of a $16 million investment from the Tourism Enhancement Fund and other stakeholders to ensure sustainability of the fish sanctuary. Over 2,700 pieces of coral have already been planted by the sanctuary. The five years goal is to plant over 5,000 pieces. Coral farming is a cost-effective tool for reef rehabilitation. It's also a means of improving the livelihood of fisher folks in Jamaica. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Marlon Samuels.